Robots are everywhere now. At every level, you will now find robots imitating the tasks which once were being struggled by humans to be performed. The concept of replacing humans by robots comes out even stronger when we talk about female robots. But what is it that attributes more humanness to female robots? Let's find that out in this video. Nowadays, you will hear about robots which will make you question that they are actually robots. Perhaps yes, because they can talk like humans, can give multiple face expressions, and some even helped us during the crucial times of the pandemic. It is even more difficult to believe when these AI robots are built into a suited, glamorous feature, that of girls. To your surprise, there are a number of such amazing female robots which are ready to replace humans soon. But to know them all, you need to stick with us to the end of this video. Well, starting with, we have Toshiba's lifelike robot famous as Akio Chahiro, who gained a lot of attention and popularity due to its ability to mimic human facial emotions while also speaking English and conventionally moving its hands and eyes. In fact, the thought of developing robot like humans can be attributed to this very robot. Akio's face and limbs can be moved by a total of 43 actuators, but the majority of the work appears to be done by the servos in its arms, hands, and fingers. This is due to the robot's use of elementary sign language, which necessitates articulated fingers. This is quite peculiar and new because this feature was frequently ignored in earlier androids. Akio was created with the assistance of Osaka University. Even though it has limited locomotive skill, it was hired as a consultant by one of Tokyo's largest shopping malls. According to Toshiba, the objective behind creating Akio was actually to create a type of telepresence robot by 2020 that counselors and medical professionals can use to converse with senior patients who are suffering from dementia. Well, it seems that is not very far from its aim, as the Kia is currently actively used in the care of patients. Moving on, you would have definitely heard of Sophia, a humanoid robot made by Hansen Robotics, which is among the most well-known robots in existence today. Sophia is regarded as an exceptional example of how art, engineering, and science can coexist. She can communicate with people and make lifelike facial emotions. It is intended to advance public discourse on AI ethics and the potential robotics and serves as a tool for research, education, and entertainment. She can recognize human faces, comprehend various emotional expressions and hand gestures, and sustain dialogue. This AI robot features movable fingers, arms, shoulders, giving it 74 degrees of mobility, a payload of 600 grams may fit in each hand of Sophia. In fact, she offers three different rolling base configurations in addition to self-navigation. Sophia can walk across various terrains with ease owing to her body's ability to execute dynamic stabilization. Her almost human-like face is capable of expressing 60 distinct human emotions, recognizing human faces, and understanding different emotional expressions and she's similarly capable of recognizing speech and maintaining conversations with humans. Sophia is also able to generate her own emotions and vis-a-vis -vis form emotional connections with others. And guess what? This amazing global robot ambassador has its own personal Twitter account as well. With Sophia, robots cease to be an anomaly, and Sophia particularly impressed the Saudi government, who in 2017 granted her citizenship which, by the way, makes her the first robot with citizenship in history. As the first robot citizen and the first robot innovation ambassador for the United Nations Development Program, Sophia has gone on to accomplish incredible achievements that some humans can only imagine. In particular, Sophia has been utilizing cutting-edge robotics and AI research in the field of comprehending human-robot interactions. She recently participated in a project called Loving AI that was developed to better understand how robots might adapt the human needs to into an interpersonal growth. The core artificial intelligent technologies that underline Sophia incorporate state-of-the-art research in a variety of domains, including symbolic AI, conversational natural language processing, cognitive architecture, adaptive motor control, machine perception, and neural networks. Also, one very interesting fact about our Sophia is that it incorporates Sophia Intelligence Collective, or SICK, a collective intelligence that combines real AI and human input. This SICK is considered as a relationship of trust between people and Sophia, wherein the team guides the AI robot through its ups and downs in hopes that it may eventually acquire true sentience 
and develop into an adult with human-like traits. With time, there is even a greater rise in the range of service which female robots can provide. The technological development has invented humanoid robots like Actroid and Harmony that are known to possess very interesting capabilities. For example, Harmony is considered to be an intimacy robot and is capable of maintaining conversations on a wide range of juicy and intimate topics. The Westworld idea of lifelike robots got a little bit closer in 2017 with Harmony. At that time, Harmony, a patented animatronic talking head with programmable personality and memory, was unveiled by the San Marcos-based business. Harmony is an anatomically accurate love doll. Her appearance is remarkably human. She can turn her head, lower her chin, wiggle her eyebrows, blink her eyelids, and make various facial expressions. She can talk of a blue streak when the facial motor and Bluetooth-powered speaker are in chat mode. Lifelike silicone love doll maker Matt McGowan's latest creation sparked a tempest of criticism from ethics and futurists who saw a dark side to a love doll that gets more human with each technological advancement. Women's right activists also claim that owners may use the interactive dolls to accurately practice preparations for violent sexual acts. Well, it is not an unknown fact that McMullen, the CEO and creative director of Realbot Tex, has been manufacturing lifelike silicone love dolls for 20 years now. Owing to the upsurging critics, he clarified that Harmony's detractors are entirely mistaken. He views Harmony more as an Apple Siri-like reassuring conversation partner, but one who can engage in sensuous dialogue and crack crude jokes. He added, pointing out that Harmony's arms and legs are jointed and fully poseable, but they don't function independently, at least not yet. The worst thing she can do to you is disrespect you, he said. A sexually capable robot is a very modern cutting-edge concept. However, Harmony is a highly developed piece of machinery, and her main function is to hold conversations, he explained. McMullen tried to dismiss the criticism that artificially sentient love dolls uncomfortably cross the line into a type of female sexual servitude. Well, one thing is clear by now, that Harmony was never made with an intention of objectifying women but it unfortunately led many people have wrong notions about it. Not just these. There are very recent female robots too which have left people awestruck. Last year, when the entire world was hit by the pandemic and losing hope with the rising cases of COVID-19, no one even in their wildest dreams thought of female robots which can save them from dying of corona. We are talking about Grace, the healthcare robot developed by Hong Kong for assisting doctors and nurses. She is actually the result of a partnership between Hanson Robotics and Singularity Studio, and full development is planned for Hong Kong, the Chinese mainland, Japan, and Korea. Grace's launch came at the time when there was a high rise in demand for telehealth services and contactless healthcare due to the coronavirus outbreak. Grace has Asian features, collar brown hair, and a thermal camera in her chest to take your temperature and gauge your attentiveness. Grace is dressed in a blue nurse's uniform. She speaks English, Mandarin, and Cantonese and employs artificial intelligence to diagnose patients. She claims that in addition to being able to visit individuals and make their days brighter through social stimulation, she is also able to conduct talk therapy, get bio readings, and assist medical professionals. According to Hansen, our brains are designed for human face-to-face -face encounters. Therefore, having a human-like appearance encourages trust an organic connection. He asserted that Grace can mimic the movement of more than 48 major facial muscles and has been inspired by anime characters, which frequently combine Asian and Western fashion. With the advancement of female robots, it is yet to be seen what all new spheres they can enter into and how innovative the creators can get with inventing such female robots. The only fear which haunts such invention right now, particularly with regard to female robots, is what if they begin to be exploited in the same way as real women, since robots may not be able to stand up for themselves like human women can? But who knows? We might witness a female humanoid activist robot in the future. Well, that's all for today. Do let us know in the comments section below as to which female robot amazed you the most. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please check out our other videos. Until then, stay tuned.